Let's talk about how to set up a tenon cutter. Uh, this is the Veritas 5 8 inch tenon cutter, which I use for a lot of joints in my stick chairs. And if you follow the instructions in the booklet, you will be able to change the diameter of the tenon so that you can either make a tenon that fits a 5 8 inch hole or a 16 millimeter hole. Those are two very close uh, uh, approximations. Um, but what a lot of people get confused about is how to make a certain length of tenon. And I use one length of tenon, which is two and a quarter inches, and this is not set up to do that. So here's how I do it. Um, I've got the tenon cutter, I've got a piece of stock here, and then I'm going to set up to drill a full length tenon. So I have leveled the stick in the vise, and I have leveled the drill using the bubble level, and I have sighted here to make sure this is 90 degrees, and then I'm going to press hard forward into the stick, do a couple rotations to make sure that I'm indeed level and haven't gone off. And when it stops cutting, it has reached the bottom of the tenon cutter. This is the full length tenon, and it is about two and seven eighths uh, long. And that's too long. We want two and a quarter inch long. So I'm going to set my ruler on the tenon, and then as soon as it starts to go up this swelling, right up that ramp, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit just so it's flat where it needs to be. And then I'm going to mark the length of the tenon I want on here. So two and a quarter. I made a mark at two and a quarter. And then I take a saw and I cut to the outside of that line. And now this becomes the plug. So I put a little bit of tape in there. I put the plug in there. Just like the old timey. Now every tenon I make should be two and a quarter inches long. Let's test that. And now I'm going to check and I'm at, oh, yep. It's starting to rise up right there, so two and a quarter. So these are the short sticks that I use in all of my chairs, and they start out as 12 and a half inches long, and they have two and a quarter inch long tenons on each end. With this, I can do a lot of different things with a lot of different chairs. This gives me eight inches between the shoulders, and so that's usually the distance between the seat and the arm but I can do lots of things with the tenon. So if I have to put this tenon through an arm that is an inch thick, then I can trim it off here at an inch and a quarter, and so this can go into the arm. If this needs to go through the seat, I can leave it its full length, or I can take off you know, a quarter inch or half inch to get it to inch and three quarters, and that can make, make a through tenon in the seat. I also can uh, use this in a low back. So where you have long tenons that go into that backrest, uh, I can use these full length tenons and get a lot of uh, contact there, a lot of uh, joint strength. So the other nice thing is that whenever I can find enough stock to make 12 and a half inch long sticks, I just burn through the stock, make a big pile, and all these uh, sticks are ready to go into almost any chair that uses short sticks.